Live from NBC4, this is the Channel 4 News at 5. All right, Rockefeller Center, reach your heart out. Fritz is live with the weather tonight at the annual tree lighting at the L.A. Music Center in downtown Los Angeles. Fritz. Yes, yeah, so there's kind of a Rockefeller Center vibe here. We're positioned on the Music Center pavement between the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion and the now currently being refurbished Mark Taper Forum. And we're going to show the lighting of the L.A. County Christmas tree live on the air in a little while. County Supervisor Mike Antonovich has invited us to do it at Channel 4, and we happily accepted that invitation. This is a 45-foot fir tree harvested from Mount Shasta. It's 30 years old, 300 branches. 3,500 lights, 4,000 lights and bows, a beautiful, beautiful tree, and we can't wait to light it and show it to you. And setting the scene now is the choir from the Sailor and Lutheran School in Glendale, and a beautiful, beautiful celebration it is. We've got some jazz being played off and on between the performances of the children. Now let's talk weather. This is not so good news, really. We have another what could be potentially moderate to strong Santa Ana wind to talk about tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. And there's uh, the possibility it will be equal in strength to the one we just experienced with gusts of 50 miles an hour. We'll show you the fire weather watch. Generally no change for Tuesday. Very dry, light offshore flow, so temperatures about the same. And then this Santa Ana ought to start to show its head Tuesday night into Wednesday, but the gustiest winds will be brief but potentially strong on Wednesday morning. Now, I'm going to put that for a, a sign of hope on the bottom. There is a weekend rain chance. It's a marginal forecast. It's only about 10%, but I had to put it in there just to sort of counter the bad news of another Santa Ana wind. Here's a fire weather watch late Tuesday to Wednesday. Mountains and valleys, including the National Forest. Northeast gust 20 to 30. Occasional gust of 50 miles an hour and very dry conditions. Relative humidity between 10 and 15%. Overnight, upper 30s to low and mid 40s, maybe low 50s. Mid and upper 70s, no change tomorrow. Riverside and San Bernardino, about 77 degrees. 74 in Burbank and Glendale for highs tomorrow. Again, you'll see a little change along the coast, but very little inland. 70 degrees at Santa Clarita, 76 and 77 at Northridge and Woodland Hills. Along the coast, 70s for a couple of days, and then once the second Santa Ana passes, we'll get down into the more normal range of mid-60s. And the same for the downtown temperatures. Matter of fact, cool. Friday and beyond as we get a cold air mass from the northwest and the valleys could get as warm on the peak day of this Santa Ana at about 80 degrees and again it's a moderate strong Santa Ana late tomorrow night but the gustiest winds early Wednesday a dry offshore flow fire weather watch right now for the inland counties but probably uh, uh, including all mountains and valleys including Ventura and LA County as early as tomorrow well our host here today has been the county supervisor for the 5th District for 27 years. Mike Antonovich, thanks for having us down here. Well, thank you, Fritz, for being down here today and just also thanking you for helping our veterans. I'm happy to do it. There's nobody in, in public office more active with Veterans Affairs than you are. And uh, this is a kind of uh, 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 an event where you remember them and for what they're doing, especially the kids overseas now as well. And thank you for emceeing the event because the veterans do appreciate it as do their families and loved ones. No problem. Now at 545, you're going to have the switch, but I'm going to control this massive crowd and we're going to light this beautiful Christmas tree and we're going to show it live on Channel 4. That's wonderful. Should be a lot of fun. It will be. And thank you again for being here. Now, I know you're preoccupied because you have two kids, both in the Salem Lutheran Choir here, so go ride herd on them for a couple of minutes. We'll see you at 545. Okay, back in a few minutes, folks. Back to you. All right, Fritz. Fritz is now going to have this enormous feeling of power because he's about to count down the annual tree lighting at the L.A. Music Center in downtown Los Angeles. Take it away, Fritz. Power. Watch this. Are you ready to light the tree? Yeah! First, let's talk about a Santa Ana wind. I want to show you the seven-day outlook. This is not fabulous news. We're so dry. 6% fuel moisture in our local chaparral. That's bad. Late Tuesday into Wednesday, another Santa Ana wind. Fire weather watch for the inland counties already. The other mountains and valleys bound to be included tomorrow. Relative humidity 10 to 15%. It's only a one-day event. The gustiest winds ought to be Wednesday. The latter part of the forecast, maybe about a 10% chance of rain. We're hoping so. That's wishful thinking. Well, with the help of the Salem Lutheran School Choir and all these beautiful people, we're going to light this tree. It's going to be so much fun. It's a 45-foot white fir from Mount Shasta. And it's an ironic setting because sitting right across the street is the Department of Water and Power. <laughs> and you can almost feel the building frowning on our procedure here tonight, can't you? But just to get them back, we plug the tree into their AC outlet. You might see a little bump in your bill. Are you all ready to count it down? Yeah. 
And I will tell you that at the end of the countdown, and once we light the tree and people are in the spirit, we're going to have the Salem Lutheran Choir immediately begin to sing and put you all in a great holiday mood. And tell everybody how beautiful the Music Center setting is here between the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion and the, and the Mark Taper Forum this holiday season. You ready to go? Here we go. Let's count them down from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Get ready, Michael and Mary. Here we go. 2, 1, hey! Good job, guys. Good job, Mary. Happy holidays, everybody. And now, once again, we'll hear from the Salem Lutheran School Choir. Back to you guys. Good job, Fritz. Thank you.